Hey, this is Danielle, and we've got a big action coming up around net neutrality, and we want you to get involved at the ground level. Right now, big telecom conglomerates are trying to force your favorite websites into an internet slow lane. Their plan threatens the open internet and will also make your access more expensive. The team here at Open Media has been working hard to prepare for the fight against this slow lane plan. You know, fighting to keep the internet free and open isn't all book smarts. We keep our campaigners in the best physical condition possible as well. Give me one, come on, you can't even give me one push up. What are you, are you weak? Are you weak? Baby, want a bottle, a big dirt bottle? By forcing as much of the web as possible into a slow lane online, these telecom giants hope to push deep pocketed websites to pay expensive prioritization fees to make sure they get better access to everyday users. As you may have guessed, this internet slow lane plan has brought them straight into conflict with internet users from around the globe. So we've partnered with digital rights organizations, tech companies, and citizens everywhere to fight back. Right now, it's big telecom versus the world. And we need you to tell decision makers that everyone, everywhere, deserves internet access free from interference by telecom giants. In places like the United States, Canada, Mexico, and the European Union, major telecom conglomerates are fighting rules that would keep them from meddling in how our favorite online services and websites reach us. These rules are often called net neutrality rules and have been successfully passed in several countries around the world. With safeguards in place, the internet is a level playing field, one that ensures your favorite lolcat site can compete with the big players like Facebook. But big telecom hates this and will do anything they can to take control of the net. They want the net to look more like cable TV. They only want this for one reason, so they can squeeze every last dollar out of internet users and websites around the world. The clock is ticking, but if we can impact a high profile internet slow lane decision before a crucial deadline for public input, we'll kickstart the call for a global standard on the open internet. We're at a crossroads. As a worldwide community of internet users, we have to decide whether we want control of our internet to be in the hands of faceless telecom giants or in the hands of the people who've made the internet what it is, people just like you. We hope you'll join us at bigtelecomversustheworld.org today.